Gary Schwant received and lived with a diagnosis of prostate cancer for more than a year. When his physicians told him things had changed, he knew exactly what to do. It was pretty clear to me that the cleanest, best outcome relative to cancer was to have surgery and have it done once and for all. He also knew that function issues were possible after treatment. However, not all men experience the same outcomes or even address the issue with their physicians. Having the discussion with Dr. Sanda about what might happen after the fact uh, was very important. It was very helpful to my wife. It was very helpful to me. We really set out to be able to better individualize uh, what men can expect in terms of their outcome. Dr. Martin Sanda from Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and co-authors studied 2,600 men nationwide, evaluating their sexual quality of life before and two years after prostate cancer treatment. Could you fill this out for us, sure. please? The men filled out a questionnaire like this one. We could really individualize uh, how we could predict as to whether a man would recover sexual functioning based on that man's age, on the severity of their cancer, and very importantly, based on what their sexual functioning score their response to the questionnaires was before treatment. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Men who might be younger or may be on the more favorable end of having excellent functioning before treatment might expect a 70% or higher prospect for recovering their sexual functioning to that level. Researchers also say men experiencing sexual function problems before treatment or those with more severe cancers may be looking at less favorable percentages. Looks like things are uh, really right on track in terms of what we'd expect at this point in time. I think our study highlights that issues related to sexuality can be brought on the table. Uh, and patients can be informed as, as to what they can expect. And it doesn't have to be a black box of uncertainty as to what will happen moving forward. Today, Gary is cancer-free and moving forward. Absolutely. The facts are the facts. And it's really important just to put them on the table and look at them and make good decisions. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.